some wag has pointed out that Putin looks remarkably reinvigorated for somebody who I think is dead. Well, yes, this makes it sound rather like a Hammer horror film, doesn't it? Um, I, I, I have bathed in the blood of Prigozhin. I have spent weeks on my knees, squatting in the frosts of the polar wastes, begging an audience with Alexei Navalny, the unnamed nemesis, who died a natural death and bequeathed me his spirit of defiance a month or two ago. I have salvaged the electrical energy from the remains of the Ukrainians' hydroelectric industry and nuclear plants. I, Putin, have resurrected. I am reinvigorated. Look, I have been dead for fully six months, but my soul has not deserted my body. Yes, you could imagine it, really. I, I don't know whether he would be played by Vincent Price or... Um, or... <laughs> Or, or, or Peter Cushing, or indeed in some strange dim, diminutive version of Christopher Lee, um, Peter Lorre. Peter Lorre. Would, wouldn't Peter Lorre do a wonderful um, uh, Vladimir Putin? In the, in, Vladimir Putin, the film. Peter Lorre is Putin in the flesh, in the flesh. Oh, oh. Or, 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 or even, or even Frankie Howard would do a very good. Oh, no, no, oh, no, oh no! When, 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 when he's finished playing, when he's finished playing Matt Hancock. No, oh no! Get out of the stationary cupboard, Missus! Oh, give me some room! And and he collect after he's collected his Oscar for Matt Hancock, the definitive portrait. He could go on to play President Putin. No, no, no! Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a pea. It's a pea. Has somebody lost a pea? No, I don't want a pea.